which is a relief position, and the relief propper are usually considered to be crucial for achieving the best performance in the shot put. A comprehensive assessment of the technical execution makes it necessary to analyze the course of the movement maneuver realized in a space of two to three seconds. High-speed cameras make it possible to divide the putting action into the decisive phases, limited by the typical positions of the athlete's body. The introductory movement from the initial erect position to the maximum lowering position is described as the preparatory phase. Athletes display a number of individual variations in this stage. The shot moves against the direction of the put proper. These movements probably are not substantially important and will not be dealt with here. The initial phase of the put from the biomechanical point of view is the position in which the shot is at its lowest, Y minimal. There is maximum distance from the performance measuring point, X maximal. The beginning of the glide, the end of the initial phase. The end of the glide, the beginning of the transition phase, ended in the double support position. The phase of release culminates when the shot leaves the athlete's fingers. The subsequent movements are not greatly influenced by the preparatory phase. It will thus not be taken into consideration in comparing the time course of the performances of two of the medalists, Mahura and Bayer. Bayer takes less time to complete the preparatory phase. His transition to the glide is smoother. The duration of the glide and of the transition phase is almost identical in both athletes. The markedly shorter duration of the release proper corresponds with Bayer's performance, almost a full meter better than his rivals. The path of the shot in the decisive phases of the put. In Bayer's starting phase, the center of gravity of the shot is slightly shifted in a vertical direction. The rise of the center of gravity starts in the glide, continuing throughout the transition phase. The release phase runs along the longest possible path, approximating a straight line. Mahura's considerable time losses are caused by a marked deviation of the shot path from the straight direction. In the initial phase, the shot rises along a longer path. In the transition phase and at the beginning of the delivery phase, it drops sharply again. The lowering of the center of gravity of the athlete's implement system increases the reaction force and can thus favorably influence the pretension of the leg muscle. The question remains, however, whether this advantage can outweigh the obvious loss of both horizontal and vertical speed of the athlete implement system. A view in the direction of the foot makes it clear that the trunk's axis of rotation does not run through the center of gravity of the shot another factor causing deflections from the straight direction of the push. Even in this case, however, the tendency to maintain the straight direction of the shot path can be said to exert a favorable influence on the performance. This fact can be demonstrated by a comparison of the performances of the three medallists. The path of the shot in the initial phase, the glide, and the transition phase. The release path. The horizontal deviation measured between the double support position and the moment of release. Every change in technique must be preceded by corresponding growth of the speed and strength potential in particular. of the activity of the muscle groups in the crucial moments of the push. Maximum contraction is marked red. The green color denotes the muscles with maximum contraction with pretension. At this particular point, they work largely in the static regimen. The lighter colors denote lower muscular activity. Partially relaxed muscles are marked gray-blue. The example of the quadriceps thigh muscle 
can be used to demonstrate the maximum contraction alternating with partial relaxation in minimum time intervals. The transition from the static state, contraction with extension to maximum contraction with shortening, in the course of 320 milliseconds. The glide, relative relaxation, contraction with pretension, culminating in intensive contraction with shortening at intervals of 170 milliseconds. The transition phase, slight relaxation, some of the relatively static regimen is transferred to the left leg. Activation rises again, the interval 90 milliseconds. The release, the quadriceps gradually displays maximum contraction in the course of the extension of the two legs. The time, 250 milliseconds. The technique of the put must be adapted to this rhythm. The knowledge obtained from the kinematic and dynamic course of the movement of athletes with different anthropometric data makes it possible to try and formulate the typical features of the modern approach to efficiency of technique in the shot put. Starting without a prolonged concentration period. Smooth transition through the maximum lowering position. In the initial phase, the horizontal lift of the shot is negligible. The glide is short and fast double support with the feet wide apart. The transition to the pressure line and the delivery are marked by an effort to extend the effective length of the shot path. In the final phase of the foot, both feet are in firm contact with the ground. Some of the shortcomings of the technique can be watched in one of the failed attempts. The position of the hips on the level of the shot, which suddenly rises in the initial starting phase. The right leg glide is too long. The narrow, unstable position of the left foot is accompanied by a lowering of the speed and height of the shot. The effective path in the delivery phase is thus shortened. The premature action of the leg muscles in the delivery causes loss of contact with the ground halfway through the delivery path. The shot velocity drops in the final section of the delivery, unfavorably affecting the resulting performance. A bird's eye view of the ring in the direction of the put axis has revealed other shortcomings of technique. Knorscheidt lands with her left foot left of the put axis. There is a premature turning of the trunk. The curved shot pass in the delivery phase may reduce the release speed and thus the resulting performance. of the hips and shoulders causes a reduction of the effective delivery path. The velocity of the shot is reduced and the performance does not correspond with the athlete's potential. Slupianek plants her left foot in the direction of the foot axis. The path of the shot movement in the delivery phase, including the release direction, is almost identical with the put axis. A comparison of the foot movement of the three athletes with the shape of the shot path and the direction of the shot path confirms that the straight direction of the shot with the minimum axial deviation improves the performance. The medalists of the Athens Championships showed the best level of preparedness not only in the physical but also in the mental sphere. Remigius Machura won the bronze medal with his first attempt of 20.59 meters. Yanis Boyaz, 20.81 meters, the silver medal. Uda Bayer's last attempt confirmed his reputation as the best shot putter in Europe. He won the gold medal for a performance of 21.50 meters.
In the women's final, victory was decided between two athletes. Helena Fibingerova was runner-up with 20.94 meters. A technically highly accomplished foot over a distance of 21.59 meters brought the gold medal and the title of European champion to Ilona Slupianek. The shot foot event at the first World Championships in Helsinki confirmed that performances have been stagnating. In the men's contest, the average performance was a mere one centimetre better than the Munich Olympics 11 years earlier. The women managed to improve their performance by a mere half metre over the same period. The quest for new ways of improving the speed and power potential has so far failed to influence the performance in the shot put. The greatest potential for improved performance is to be found in the sphere of the technical execution. The rotation technique offers one of the chances for improvement. Seven of the ten best world performances have been achieved with the rotation technique. The trouble is that it makes considerable demands on the coordination of movement. That is why most athletes still prefer the traditional glide technique. The biomechanical analysis of film material makes it possible to reveal considerable shortcomings and minor details of the technical execution which are in the last resort of decisive importance for succeeding in major athletic events. A comparison of the position of the body in the crucial moments of the put reveals individual differences of style and of the execution of the individual phases of the movement. All the phases are aimed at complying with all the well-known prerequisites of a successful put with the most important single element being the speed of the implement at the moment of release. The distance of the shot landing point, L, depends on the relation between the vertical, dy, and horizontal, the x, velocity components, which together determine the resulting release velocity, v, and the angle of release, alpha. Let's compare two different performances from the European Championships in Athens. With the release height almost identical and a minimum difference in the resulting velocity, the length of the put hinges on the release angle, which in turn is influenced chiefly by the magnitude of the vertical component of the release velocity. The women's final was dogged by extremely bad weather and the performances of even the top girls were affected by shortcomings in technique. Slupianek, moreover, had suffered an injury before the contest, which made it impossible for her to engage the muscles of the trunk in the delivery phase to the full extent. The heavy rain and the slippery ground in the circle made it difficult for Fidingeraba to make use of the strength of her legs, and her release angle was too narrow. The men enjoyed ideal weather conditions, and were able to demonstrate a technique of a generally very fine standard. shortcomings, however minor, could be detected. Incomplete pelvis rotation and implement release in an unstable position. Uniform weight distribution on both legs facilitates a better use of their strength. 
but premature jump, though, reduces the efficiency of the final phase of the delivery. Most athletes use the glide technique, making it possible to compare the technical execution and to detect variations in style and deviations from the standard execution. Both Timmerman and Mahura lower the body markedly in the starting position. The low position of the implement and the bending of the trunk are maintained in the course of the glide. Timmerman lands on his right foot in the back half of the circle. Mahura's glide is longer, getting to a lower position with the implement at the moment of the landing of the left foot. Timmerman's weight distribution on the legs is uniform. The trunk rotation continues fluently. Mahura's lowering can be considered a stylistic variation which enables a more efficient engaging of the leg muscles in the release. In Timmerman's case, the path of the shot approximates a straight line, more in keeping with the principles of execution of the glide technique. Bayer uses a similar variant. The gradual raising of the shot is even more fluent due to the more efficient engaging of the large muscle groups of the trunk. Bayer's performance was affected by injury. Good timing of form and outstanding performances made Sarul of Poland the discovery of the year. His is a standard technique. Mark the fluent engaging of the biggest muscle groups of the legs and the trunk. The turn technique seems to offer good chances of improved performance in the shot put. Only one athlete used it at the first world championships, namely Dave Lord. The rotation technique requires detailed analysis for the sake of possible future use. Let us first try to segment the whole action on the basis of contact with the support into single support, flight and double support phases. Contact with the support is shown by the legs being colored blue. Another example shows the share of the individual segments in the body rotation. saturation degree of the red color shows the degree of activation of the main muscle groups. The fundamental phases are outlined by the characteristic body positions, which in fact follow fluently one after another. The moment when the right leg leaves the support marks the beginning of the starting phase, which ends at the moment of the left foot takeoff. The right foot plant limits the flight phase of the jump. The transition phase ends at the moment of the left foot plant, which marks the start of the delivery phase. The latter ends, as it does in the glide technique, at the moment of release. The projection of the shot path into the ground plan of the circle expresses the magnitude of the movement on the horizontal plane. It will be obvious from this view that the shot practically stops moving in the transition phase between the right and left foot plant.
parallel analysis of two synchronous film shots makes it possible to express the movement of the shot in space. The length of the white vertical line shows the changes in the shot height. Here again it can be seen that no marked movement of the shot occurs in the transition phase, not even vertically. The athlete thus moves in a rotary manner along an imagined axis of rotation. The shot is in this axis or next to it. The seeming mechanical error, the arrest of the shot movement in the transition phase, which in the glide deteriorates the performance, is a fundamental principle of the shot put with a turn. Practically the entire body, with its mass far greater than that of the shot, rotates at a relatively high angular velocity. The gradual rise in the upper body's angular velocity is shown by the saturation degree of the red color. landing, with the trunk and the right arm already turned in the direction of the put, the movement is arrested. The kinetic energy obtained by the rotation of the whole body, together with the tensioning of the legs, helps in the extension of the right arm with the shot in the release. a comparison of the course and typical positions of the body in the glide technique with the corresponding positions of the athlete in the rotation technique. The difference between the mechanical principles of shot acceleration in the two putting techniques will become even clearer. identical in both techniques, namely imparting the maximum release velocity to the implement. The velocity course of the shot movement shows that in the glide technique the shot acceleration is fairly low in the first part of the put. The velocity increments correspond with the acceleration of the whole athlete implement system. The velocity rises sharply from the moment of the left foot landing and the start of the extension of the right arm. In the rotation technique, the functional course of the shot velocity is different, corresponding with the different phase pattern of the movement as has been made clear by the comparison. In the first part of the put, the shot velocity is higher than in the glide technique. In the middle part, on the contrary, it drops practically to nil, but the velocity of the motions of the main body segments culminates. In the final phase, the velocity rises sharply. Although Lort failed to win any of the medals at the championships, he is still one of the world's best putters. medals were won by athletes who practiced the traditional glide technique. Remigius Mahura and Ilona Slupianek won the bronze medals. The silver medals went to Ulf Timmerman The world champions, unexpectedly Edward Sarul with a performance of 21.39 meters. And thanks to her last attempt in which the shot landed at a distance of 21.05 meters, Helena Fibinger.